A month ago, I made a video predicting three teams that will likely take a step back this year. This list included Raptors, Bucks and Thunder. While I was considering the fact Warriors might lose Kevin Durant, I didn't think they would take a nosedive. As the free agency unfolded, I became more certain of my assessment. So, why do I think Golden State Warriors will be fine, while all the other national media have written them off? Let's analyze everything that has happened and of course, we should start with Durant. I don't have to tell you how crucial Kevin Durant was for this team. This was especially shown in the playoffs. And while I do think Kevin Durant will be important when the team makes playoffs this following year, it is a long way until then. He will be equally hurt on Nets or Warriors. What gives me hope is that the Warriors can still perform is the historical data. Over the years, Warriors played worse when Curry was injured compared to when Durant was hurt. If they could finish off Rockets and win against Portland without Durant, there is no reason why they cannot repeat the same feat this year against the same teams. So yeah, teams such as Clippers, Utah and Lakers have stocked up on talent, but at the same time, you have OKC which has dissolved and Houston who might be worse this year due to aging. There is a good chance that Portland plays better this year in the playoffs if Nurkic is healthy. But then again, by the time we reach the playoffs, Warriors will have Klay Thompson at their disposal. A lot of things will hinge on players' health, as they are unable to lose any of the core pieces for a prolonged period of time. When we talk about the regular season, I feel that Warriors will have to do something they haven't done in a while. Go all out. Each game will be important as the margin for error will be small, which is why the Angelo Russell signing was so important for the team. D'Lo will help carry the team during regular season as he is still very hungry. He wants the title and he wants to prove himself. I also predict that Curry and Green will take a much more serious approach this year. D'Lo Curry pairing will be really fun to watch and I'm interested to see how they work together. They might have issues on the defense though. Anyway, I feel that D'Lo signing is just the thing that might have saved their dynasty. Who knows, perhaps they run a small ball lineup during playoffs with Steph, Clay, D'Lo, Green and Looney. We will have to see. There is one thing that I'm unable to analyze and that is loss of Andre Iguodala. On paper, it is good that he is gone as he is getting older and older. You might question his ability to play on the highest level while staying healthy, especially if we consider the fact Warriors will have to play really hard this regular season. On the flip side, he was always the crucial part of this team and one of the more underrated players in the league due to his role. He simply knows how to play the right way and his presence, or absence, is always visible. Iguodala doesn't need a bunch of stats to be a plus, which is why Warriors might take a hit by him leaving. Lastly, the same thing I've said about Iguodala can be said about Sean Livingston. He is a veteran that has been with the team for a while and he played a crucial role. There are increased concerns regarding his productivity and the ability to stay healthy. However, I feel that it would be easier to replace Livingston than it would be to replace Iguodala. Now, let's mention some role players that the Warriors acquired. They've got Willie Colistein, Omari Spellman and Alec Burks. Willie Colistein was criticized a lot while he was on the Kings. People had issues with his lack of dedication. He's pretty bad rebounder and isn't a real rim protector. His free throw shooting is also abysmal. However, he has quick hands and can help get steals and deflections. All in all, he is a rim runner with some ability to shoot. In general, I don't see him as someone who will be a starter, but as a substitution, he will be above average. I was really intrigued by Omari Spellman and I think that Golden State Warriors did a good job by getting him. You see, Spellman was really neglected during his brief stint in Atlanta. Not because he is bad, but there were simply too many good rookies that received all the news coverage. There was a lot of hype surrounding Trey Young. As if that wasn't enough, it turns out that Kevin Herter can also ball. Spellman was neglected in all of this, but dude has some nice upside. 
He is a power forward with a pretty nice touch, but I need to see more of him to be able to assess him properly. He is also someone who can get you a lot of rebounds, so he will likely work well with Willie Cauley Stein. Alec Burks was moved a lot this previous season. He is a good shooter with nice defensive principles and will likely be an average rotation player from the bench. To conclude, while most analysts are downright scared because of Durant's departure, I am more than certain this team can function without him. I'm not saying they will win the championship, but they can easily remain one of the top teams in the West. Even though they might have a regular season drop-off, I don't think it will be as extreme as some people are predicting. Warriors made some cuts by removing all the veterans and bringing fresh blood. We also shouldn't neglect Russell's positive impact. Anyway, I'm interested to see how the team will perform when pushed in the corner. It will be an interesting season no matter how you put it. That's my view. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, see ya!